read a section from my book, but I was going to read a section from Evelyn's book. Um, because these were the last two projects that we, we worked on. But it occurred to me that it might be preferable to have uh, someone whose voice is closer to Evelyn's than mine, that is a female voice. And um, I, I remember in uh, Evelyn's last months, uh, my colleague Linda McJanet spent incredible amounts of time with Evelyn. They formed a two-person book club. Uh, I don't know how much reading they did, because every time I came downstairs, what I heard was laughter, and so on. Um, and I'm I, um, uh, forever grateful to uh, Linda uh, for the time that, uh, that she spent with Evelyn, and I think it's fitting that she read uh, Evelyn's uh, portion of this event. Linda? Thank you. Thank you, George. Uh, the reason you heard all that laughter is the whole plan was, I forget who it was who said laughter was a good healing thing, so we were sharing comic novels, including the wonderful one where they're killing a duck and some, I don't know, it's the Empire Falls guy. Great man. Thank you. And also Arcadia, Tom Stoppard, and we had a wonderful time. So I will do my best to channel Evelyn, but I don't claim to succeed. My first admirer was Robert Hope, the class show-off, who swallowed ants, flies, and anything else the other kids fed him, and whose lips were always blue from...